Thank you for calling Valley View General Hospital. How can I help you today? Hola, um, habla español. Hola, sí, hablo español. ¿En qué puedo ayudarle hoy? Um, sorry, switch back to English. I was just trying to see if you speak multiple languages. No problem. Yes, I can help in multiple languages. How can I assist you today? Um, parle français? Je parle français, oui. Comment puis-je vous aider aujourd'hui? Um, that's it. I don't speak more French. <laughs> no worries at all. If you need anything else, just let me know. All right, so I built this multi-language hospital receptionist that's able to speak and obviously this is a voice AI assistant that's able to speak multiple languages but not only that as you saw during the conversation it's able to actually detect the customer's uh, language preference or whatever the customer or the person that's calling is speaking and it can switch instantly to that particular language it's incredible obviously unfortunately I don't speak a lot of these languages otherwise I would have continued the conversation but you can test this out you can see how powerful for this thing is because we're going to be utilizing retail AI's multi-language uh, AI or AI voice assistant to be able to um, have this dynamically switch during the conversation. I'm going to show you how to build this thing step by step and I'm going to give you all of the resources including the prompts and in the back end with NADN completely for free. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video because not only will you learn how to build this thing out, but on top of that, I'm gonna show you how you can become a certified voice AI um, expert and then how you can start selling this to your customers, especially since this is a big need for local businesses that are able to apply, that they can apply this for their own uh, receptions. We're going to be using a hospital receptionist as an example, but this could be applied to any industry um, and all you have to do is just kind of tweak the little prompts and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, let's get started. All right, so for the front end, we're going to be using Retail AI, which is a no-code voice AI platform. It is very user-friendly to use, so go ahead. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can sign up for a free account. Uh, once you create your account, you're going to come right here. Obviously, yours is going to look blank, but I'm going to, uh, you're going to click on the Create Agent here on the top. Uh, you're going to click on Voice Agent. We're going to be using a single prompt agent because this is a simple receptionist. Uh, but they have the ability to give you other complex multi-prompt agent and convers conversation flow agent, uh, which are built used for more complex flows. All right, so we're going to click on start from blank. You're going to click on create. Now, this is going to open up a blank canvas for your universal prompt. Don't worry about on the right hand side here. We're going to fo we're going to be focusing specifically on uh, the prompt right here. We're going to give this the instruction, the persona, the identity, and the different uh, step by step guidance on how it can interact with the customer. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a uh, universal prompt first, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain exactly what the prompt does, and then we're going to go ahead and figure this thing out as far as how to add multi-language support here. So for the prompt, instead of me typing, typing because that's going to take a long time, I'll give you the, the prompt for all of this is going to be inside this my free community. I'm going to put the link in the description. So once you come to the free community, once you join, you're going to go to the classroom section, you're going to go to re YouTube resources, and you're going to scroll to the bottom. You'll see this uh, voice assistant. You're just going to copy this. Uh, and then you're going to come back here. I'm just going to paste it. There you go. So this is basically the identity guidelines. And then also we're giving it uh, in instructions on how it should handle the calls and a few other pieces of information. So basically I'm getting an uh, identity saying you're Katie, you're an inbound receptionist for Valley View General Hospital. You're friendly. Uh, your objective is to provide quick answers. And if you don't know the answers, you will use the function to transfer it to a human receptionist, right? Very, very simple. So feel free to uh, read through these and you can go ahead and make any changes if you want. But the main goal is just to give it an identity and a guideline and also additional pieces of information, depending on which industry you're using this for. So, uh, and you can also, by the way, just use this to uh, just copy this as a template to your ChatGPT and you'll be able to uh, change the prompt or tweak the prompt so that way you can, um, you know, use it for whatever industry you want. All right. So once you uh, add the universal prompt, you're going to click on save here. So one quick note here, we're referencing two different functions here the transfer call function, and then also the end call function. These are very simple functions to add. So we're basically saying that if the customer gets angry or if you don't know the answer to any of the questions, 
call a transfer function and this is going to transfer this to a human receptionist so if i uh the way to add this is very simple you're going to come to the top here click on functions you're going to click on add and as you can see the second function here is called transfer uh name everything you're going to leave as it is the only thing you need to change is the phone address that this or the phone number that this needs to get transferred to so go ahead and add your phone number and that's all you need to do you're going to click on save and that's pretty much it. Now the transfer call function is there. You want to make sure that that matches the name right here. And another one, we're using the end call function. Same thing. This is a default function that comes with uh, retail AI. And what this does is just make sure that once the conversation over, uh, conversation is over, this voice AI will be able to finish the phone call. Otherwise, it might go forever, right? You don't want that. So you're going to click on add functions. You're going to click on end call. Leave everything as it is. Don't Put it, you don't have to put in a description. Click on save. That's it. You're pretty much done. They have multiple other um, uh, functions here, like checking calendar and everything else. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit at the end of the video uh, to, uh, if you're interested in adding or learning how to add these more complex functions. But anyways, for now, this is good to go. One thing we need to change at the bottom, it says welcome message. We're going to switch this to AI speaks first because you want to be able to have the AI uh, speak first and initialize the, the call there. All right, so that's all you need to do. Just leave it as dynamic message. That's good to go. All right, so to make this multilingual, uh, very important, you want to make sure that you're giving this uh, this prompt saying language. You can speak English, Spanish, German, Italian, Hindi, and French. And I just chose these languages because you'll be able to, I mean, you can add more in there as well. But the multi-language support, I'll show you exactly what are the different languages that support. So just make sure you put that language prompt in there. So now let's go ahead and add, uh, give this the ability to speak multiple languages. The way to do that on the top right hand corner or on top left hand corner here, as you can see, there's three different uh, settings here. First of all, the prompt or the uh, language model, you want to select whatever language model you're selecting. I'm just going to actually use GPT-5 fast here because this is a really good model. And the fast it just means that you will have um, kind of dedicated resources and it's going to be re reduced latency. All right, so once you do that, you can click on the gear icon here, but I would suggest just leaving everything as it is. Uh, by default, this is Simo is the voice that it comes with, which is a really good voice. But if you want to change that, go ahead and change that. We have 11 labs, OpenAI and Cartesia. You can use these voice and can check them out right here on the left hand side here. Uh, very important on a click setting here. As you can see, these are different uh, voice models that are selected right now. As you can see, it's automatically selecting the 11 lab Turbo V2, which is English only. Now, because we want to build this a multi-language or a uh, voice AI that has the ability to speak multiple languages, you're going to click on the language here. It says English right now. In the bottom, as you see right here, it says multilingual, right? So it says, uh, if you hover over here, it says supports seamless code switching between English, Spanish, French, German, Hindi, Russian, Portuguese, Japanese, Italian, and Dutch. These are the languages that this kind of like seamless switching is supported. So make sure you're using those languages there um, uh, in, as far as in the uh, language prompt right here. So I'm, I'm just putting these five languages, but if you select this multi-language, you can put all of these different languages that are supported there. But make sure you click on multilingual here. So if I click on multilingual here, you'll see automatically. Now, if I click next to the setting for the CMO here, you see that it's automatically selects this 11 Labs Turbo V2.5 and multilingual, right? So that's very important. But if you just click on that multilingual, it should automatically switch that. That's very, very simple. That's all you need to do. And you can test this right here. So you want to make sure that you're testing it to see it's actually working. So let's go ahead and do a quick test. Thank you for calling Valley View General Hospital. How can I help you today? Um, hola, habla español. Hola, se sí, habla español. En que puedo ayudarle hoy? Okay, that was the extent of my Spanish. So, but anyway, so you can see that it automatically is able to switch and detect the language that the person is speaking. Okay, great. So that's all you need to do as far as the setting there. Now, another thing is we want to make sure that during the conversation, especially if you're building a receptionist, the conversation is captured, the information is captured and sent over uh, for processing. 
And that's done in the back end with our NADN. We're going to be utilizing an AI agent that will grab the information, the information from the webhook and process it. And we can update our CRM and everything like that. Like I said, I'll give you this workflow as well for free so that way you can take a look at it later on. Uh, this is just an example. I just want to show you what's capable, uh, what's possible. But the way to do that, you add a webhook here. So you will go inside. Um, by the way, I'm using Hostinger here because uh, especially for a lot of if you're using it for clients and you're self-hosting because Hostinger is the cheapest option. So I'm using Hostinger, but essentially you'll grab this test URL right here and you would put it in the webhook uh, setting in uh, uh, Retail AI right here, right? So for those of you who don't know, so let me go ahead and show you how to do um, add the Hostinger there because a lot of people were asking. So I'm just going to walk you through how to add Hostinger um, to or how to host NADN on Hostinger. And then I'm going to come back and show you how you can add this webhook settings. If you've already seen Hostinger, watch, um, uh, have me kind of walk through the Hostinger part, please feel free to skip this part. But anyways, for those of you who are not familiar with Hostinger, I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go ahead and uh, click on that link. It will bring you to right here. Uh, Hostinger is the cheapest option when it comes to self-hosting on a virtual private server and it's going to be a lot cheaper compared to the uh, what uh, the um, uh, cloud version of NADN which is I think like 20 euros a month this is like this could be nine six ninety nine a month and even cheaper if you um, kind of choose their discount so once you click on the link here you're gonna bring it right here you're gonna click on this KVM2 option because this has everything you need you're gonna click on choose plan this is gonna open up the plan details here um, so there's multiple options here. There's, you know, 12 months, one month, 12 months, 24 months. But I would obviously, if you want to take advantage of the biggest discount, you want to use the 24 months. Um, everything else you're going to leave the same. On the right hand side, another great thing is that Hostinger is one of our main channel sponsors. So they have given us a code, uh, a discount code for you guys. So you get additional 10%. So if you click on have a code here and click on AI uh, or add AI workshop there. There you go. And all you have to do is click on apply. Now what this will do is this will add additional 10%. There you go. So now you have additional 10% off, which is bring, brings it down to 150 for 24 months. And this is literally the cheapest possible option you can get. Uh, everything else, the server location, you leave it as it is. The application, just, just click on any then here. You're going to confirm. That the only thing you need to do is now click on continue and you're going to add or register for an account and you're going to go ahead and click on install. So I already have an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. But once you click on install, it's going to take like a minute or so and then you will end up in the dashboard. So let me go ahead and sign in. All right. So once you sign up for an account, uh, then it's going to bring you to billing address and the payment here so make sure you uh, uh, fill in the billing address and then it's also payment and click on install okay so once you install this is going to bring you to your dashboard right here so the only thing you need to do is click on manage here and this is going to open up your NADN instance on Hostinger. everything else you're going to leave as it is this is going to be your dashboard so the way to have access to NADN is you're going to click on manage app here and this is going to open up your NADN here if this is your first time it'll ask you to sign up for an account so go ahead and sign up for an account and it'll bring you right here that's it. That's very, very simple. That's all you need to do. So then once you come here, you're going to add a webhook. And like I said, you can just download and import this file from uh, the um, AI uh, community that I showed you earlier. And what you need to do is the webhook is going to be the post method. And you're literally gonna just going to copy this. Obviously, you want you want this to be in production. But for those of you who are just testing it, you're going to copy this. And we're going to go back to retail AI. And we're going to paste this right here. So that's all you need to do, right? So obviously for production, make sure you're switching to uh, production here. So that way you're not using tests because for test, you have to actually click on test workflow and you'll see that all of this information is going to come through. The reason why I have an F statement is because NADN or uh, retail sends multiple webhooks and you want to make sure you're grabbing the call analyze for transcript and everything else. Again, you can take a look at this on your own time, but I just wanted to show you how to do this. So if I click on test workflow now, and if I go back to retail AI and I just click on test, I'm just going to end the call, but I just want to show you that all of this information is going to go there. Thanks for calling Valley View General Hospital. Take care. Okay. So I'm just going to click on end call and there you go. See, all of this information came, came through from webhook. Now you can, once you have that conversation, you will be able to uh, grab that transcript and be able to uh, capture the information that the voice AI is 
uh, grabbing during the call. So that's that's all you need to do now. So that's how you can set all this thing up. Obviously, there's multiple other ways. So like, for example, you can add uh, a calendar, check calendar availability. You can book appointments, all of that. And if you're interested in building more complex voice AI agents, you can join the community, the paid community, uh, the AI workshop paid community. I have an entire course on retail AI where I show you step by step how to just complete start from the beginning. Uh, the different features, the functions, how to buy a phone number and everything else you need, including uh, how to step by step um, guide on how to set up these complex and build more complex voice agents. And most importantly, we have since we are a partner with Retail AI, we provide exclusive certification for you to become a certified voice AI agent expert. So that way you can make money with AI. And for that, we have an entire agency course where we have a daily accountability guide, a five week program will start you with complete beginner, choose your niche, choose your business name and walk you through exactly how to interact with the customers, with the clients, uh, because we have an own our own AI agency. So uh, things like how to price your services, how to uh, run uh, customer calls, discovery calls and launch your career. So make sure you join the community. We have a great group of people from all over the world that are there to collaborate with each other and uh, take advantage of this massive opportunity. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of great content that's upcoming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.